assalamu alaikum in today's lecture we are going to study about the voltage regulation and transmission efficiency of a transmission line starting from the voltage regulation definition it is actually the percentage change in a voltage at the receiving end of the line in going from no load to full load in simple words it means that it is actually the measure of the voltage drop across the transmission line when a certain power is being transmitted to the load certain power is being transmitted and it is actually the measure of voltage drop so whenever we have a load attached to the transmission line there is a certain current ir which is dependent on the load is flowing through the transmission line and due to this ir there is a voltage drop in the line so whatever the voltage is at the sending end is not equal to the receiving end voltage if there is some ir current flowing through the transmission line and by no load it means there is no load attached to the transmission line so ir is equal to zero and for full load ir is actually flowing through the transmission line so at full load the voltage at the saving end is vr and for no load the voltage at the saving end will be same as the sending end voltage to explain it further i will use a simple short transmission line model in which we have some impedance and then there is load attached to the system so the voltage at the saving end is vr and the voltage at the sending end is vs there is current ir flowing through the transmission line that is dependent on the receiving end load so whenever there is a load attached the ir will be flowing through the system and there will be some voltage drop across this impedance value so if i have to use this formula which is for the percentage voltage regulation there are two terms one in numerator one in denominator in numerator we have v no load minus v full load and if i have to calculate v no load for this transmission line model v no load means there is no load attached in the system so v no load will be equal to vs because if there is no load attached then whatever the voltage is at the sending end will be at the receiving end as well and v full load will be equal to vr because in this case the load is attached in the system and there is current ir that is flowing through the system and v full load will be equal to vr so in this case for the short transmission line the formula for percentage voltage regulation will be vs minus vr over vr into 100 and it will be different for medium and long transmission lines you have to calculate it in the same manner as we have done for this short transmission line so there will be a certain change in the voltage regulation formula when we will be using medium and long transmission lines so voltage regulation actually gives you the idea that how much power is being lost in the system and what is the voltage drop that is occurring through the transmission line as for the transmission efficiency it is actually the ratio of power delivered and the source power and the power delivered is actually the receiving end power or the load power that has to be transmitted through the transmission line and source power is actually the sending end power so if i have to write the formula for the power delivered uh, in case of single phase line the power delivered will be equal to vr ir cos theta so this is a single phase line and uh, the sending end power will be equal to vs is cos theta so we are talking about the real power here and now if you don't know the sending end power you know don't have the uh, current value and the sending end voltage value or the sending end power factor value you can also calculate the source power by using uh, the formula power delivered plus line losses so power delivered is the same formula vr ir cos theta line losses are i square r losses and this i is actually the magnitude which is equal to under root 
i p square plus i q square so this is equal to i magnitude so this is the current that is flowing due to the real load that is resistance and this i q is flowing due to the imaginary load which is actually the load which require reactive power that can be inductive reactive power or capacitive reactive power so this is actually the current flowing due to the reactance that is present in line as well as load so you have to keep that in mind that the these line losses are actually i square r losses where i is actually the magnitude which is the square root of ip square plus iq square and these formulas are for single phase receiving end power and sending end power now if i have to define the three phase formulas so there are three type of powers one is apparent power which is represented by s then we have a reactive power and lastly we have real power so in case of efficiency calculation percentage efficiency you have to use the real power formulas and transmission efficiency actually tells you about that how much power is being lost in the transmission system because we have the power delivered which is pr receiving end power in numerator and source power that is the sending end power in denominator so it actually tells you about the losses of the transmission line that how much power is being lost in the transmission of power from sending end to the receiving end and in percentage it will give you the value so three phase system the apparent power formulas will be under root 3 v i and if we are using under root 3 here this v will be line to line voltage and if we are using line to neutral voltage that will be 3 v i and you have to use conjugate here in case of uh, reactive power the formulas will be under root 3 v i sin theta and this v will be line to line 3 v i sin theta this v is line to neutral similarly for real power the formula will be under root 3 v i cos theta v is line to line and under root 3 sorry 3 v i cos theta and this voltage value is line to neutral so these are basic formulas that will be used recurrently in the calculation of uh, transmission line models in which we have to calculate the voltages and currents through the line through the load so you have to remember these formulas and this voltage regulation and transmission efficiency formulas are also important thank you